Hello everyone and welcome back to Microsoft Dynamics 365 plugin development course. In this video, we will see how to handle exceptions in plugin. In previous video, we have seen what are secure and unsecure configuration in plugin. Let us now understand how you can handle exceptions in your plugins. So for synchronous plugins, whether they are registered in sandbox or not, Dynamics 365 platform handles exceptions exceptions passed back from the plugin by displaying an error message in the dialog of web application user interface so for synchronous whenever there is an exception raised in your plugin then you will see a dialog box appearing on the web application uh, displaying that error message with detail and you can you can even download the log file for that but for asynchronous plugins but in case of asynchronous plugins, information regarding the exception is written into the system job which can be viewed by system jobs area of the web application. If there are any exceptions are raised in the asynchronous plugin, then as you already know that for every plugin, so all the information related to that exception will be written into that system job. So let us now understand example. I am going to change my plugin from synchronous to asynchronous okay and i'm unselecting delete asynchronous process if it is uh, successful so i'm updating it so right now i have made my plugin asynchronous so i'm going to create one more record nine i'm saving that so now since my post operation plugin is asynchronous you can see that whatever the description field is now blank whereas my what my post operation plugin is doing it is getting the shared variable which is passed from pre operation and updating the field uh, back to the and updating the description field so behind the scene what happens is so whenever an asynchronous plugin is triggered the dynamics 365 platform will automatically create a system job for that particular asynchronous plugin so where you can see those system jobs you can go to settings system jobs see now in the system job records you can see an event has been system event has been registered and a record has been created if you open that record so it is regarding account 9 who is the owner and what is the type of that those information can be seen here but if there were any exception raised then you can see the detailed message in the details section then you can get that uh, exception details in the details section and for synchronous plugins you can optionally display custom error message in the error dialog box of the web application by having your plugin throw an invalid plugin execution exception with the custom message as a string to the message property this below is the sample code and catch that exception and if you want to write any custom message to your uh, front end screen you want to display a custom message then you need to throw an invalid plugin execution exception now see with the help of an example so in my post operation plugin what I am going to do I am intentionally creating an exception by passing an attribute which is not present in the account entity intentionally throwing an erroneous code because there is no such attribute found on the account entity so what it will do the moment it uh, tries to find this field for an account entity it will throw an error so in that case if I want to display a custom message then what throw new invalid plugin execution exception so you have appended your custom message on your exception and then save it build I'm going to update this get one more account record see you can see a dialog box where a custom message is displayed this is an error raised intentionally and with the other message details like account entity does not contain an attribute with the name yes keep whatever the name is there so this is how whenever an exception is raised you can 
display your custom message as well uh, for plugins that are not registered in sandbox the information is written into an application event log on the server and uh, event log can be viewed by the event viewer administrative tool now if you throw an invalid plugin execution exception and do not provide a custom message then a generic default message will be displayed in the dialog box if you do not provide any custom message then the generic exception message will be displayed in the dialog box if any exception is raised during the database transaction operation like uh, that means during stage 20 and stage 40 if any exception has been raised then the entire database transaction will be rolled back so this is how you can handle exception in plugins if you want to display a custom message always use a invalid plugin execution exception if you don't provide any custom message to that invalid plugin execution exception then the generic default message will be displayed if you have not registered the plugin in sandbox mode then the server uh, then the exception details will be logged into the application event log and you can access the event log via event viewer administrative tool so that brings the end of this video and end of this course as well i hope that you liked this course please share your feedback on this course and hope to see you in next course you can find the list of useful resources on the given slide thank you all for watching this video and if you have any question you can always catch us on any one of the social media platform so i request you to pay a frequent visit there and subscribe one of the social media channels